Somewhere hidden. Why? Because I would get savage on my eyebrow, like a dope, you know? Yeah, that's not happening. Alright, have a good day at school. Hey, watch out for that hypodermic needle. Do not step on the needle. Just walk around it. Watch out for the homeless guy. He's not gonna hurt you, he's sedated. If you don't like the smell of the weed, just cover your mouth. After my son told me he was tattooing his face, I made the decision to get my family out of LA once and for all. The city was no longer affordable and our quality of life had gone way down. So I looked at some options. The only two I could find were Burbank or Canada. So we agreed to move to Canada. Maybe I could even meet Drake. I'm moving to Canada. Well, that's my planet. F this, I'm moving to Canada. My kids are living in Gomorrah. Needles wash up on the shore. This town looks like a latrine. The great white north looks nice and clean. F this, I'm moving to Canada. F this, I'm moving to Canada. Well, that's my planet. F this, I'm moving to Canada. F this, F this, I'm moving to Canada. So if I'm gonna move to Canada, the question is, where? My first stop is Calgary, Alberta. Now they have a saying here, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. Well, right now it's pretty nice. Let's hope that doesn't change. Calgary's a good spot to live. The people are friendly, they're apologetic. They're a little more even keeled, you would find, than some of your friends down south. Is this a little cold for June? It was pretty warm last week. It just came at the worst time possible. Awesome. People apologize all the time here. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to offend you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. You? What about the winters? Like, they're not too bad. People say they're cold, but they're not that bad, right? Uh, they're pretty terrible. Wait a minute. That's sun. You just feel that? Yeah. That's sunshine coming down. <laughs> this day has changed. What is your accent? Uh, I'm from New Zealand. This is my thing. I want to move here. I all live right. in America. Where in America? California, okay. Los Angeles, yeah. Hollywood, where dreams come true. Um, what about the food? What do I need to be eating out here in Calgary? Oh man, I mean, the steak's awesome here. I mean, you're from LA, you're a movie star, you can probably afford going to some of those high-end spots. I am a movie star. I don't know if you're <laughs> aware of this. You'll need a work permit to, to start up here, get that going, you need an employer to sponsor that. What if I don't really like working? <laughs> so marijuana is about to be legalized about here. About to be legal, yeah. So I'm going to play a little game with you that I came oh. up with. This is called Real or Fake Marijuana Strain. Let's oh, go. Okay. That's our theme music. Okay. You like that? Theme music, yeah. Theme music. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I pull out this. All right, last thing. Let's just talk about Lord of the Rings for a second. I'm a huge fan. What? All right, here we go. Real all or right. Fake Marijuana Strain. Each question is worth one point. Oof. If you get to five, we will send you an F This I'm Moving to Canada t-shirt when we make them. Okay. Okay. Good deal. If you get three correct, you win an F This I'm Moving to Canada mouse pad. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Girl Scout cookies, real or fake? Uh, I think those are real. Ding, 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 ding. That's correct. Ooh. He's one and oh, Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. A nice little sativa. Really? Number two, Alaskan thunder f Uh, no, that's fake. That is real. Oh. Okay, a dirty Mountie. Oh, that's real. No, that is fake. That is a sexual position. Ah, Calgary, known as the Stampede City, or heart of the New West, the site of the 88 Winter Olympics, and, hey, possibly my new home. We'll see. First item was to find out about all these winter sports, even though it's raining like a son of a bitch. Canada Olympic Park, nothing's gonna stop me. Do you have what it takes? Come join the action? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let's go. This is a famous track that was made in the movie Cool Runnings as well, on. so. I'm really thinking of moving to Canada. I live in America right now, 
and I'm thinking this could be my place. I mean, so far, it's a little wet outside, but for me, the health system is very good up here. We enjoy free uh, healthcare. This is a blessing for us. This is a very good, good thing to know. The conditions are not good, but the excitement is, is big. <laughs> okay. Sounds like my wedding. <laughs> I mean, I should probably be nervous here, but I mean, this thing is just like a tricked out toboggan, right? Plus, you know, we got the free health care. Plus, Cristiano's an Olympian. What could go wrong? <laughs> All right, guys, are we ready to go? Yeah. yeah. All right, point of no return. Did he just say point of no return? What does that mean? What does he know that I don't? Okay, dear non-gender specific supreme being, I, if I make it down this hill, I promise I'm gonna be nicer to people. And I'm so sorry if I ever said that bobsleigh wasn't really a sport. <laughs> that was a one-time deal for me. <laughs> I mean, was that fast? Did we break any records or anything? Well, today is a little slower because it's a. Uh, uh, that was slow. Even. Do you have what it takes? No, I don't have what it takes at all. Being that I do have a sports television past, I decided to check out the Canadian Football League. So I met up with another guy from California who made Calgary his hometown, Alex Singleton of the Calgary Stampeders. Yeah, as in the defending defensive player of the year from the league that punts on third down. I come from LA, you come from Thousand Oaks, both in California. I'm thinking of moving to Canada, dude. I'm kind of done with America right now, and I'm wondering why should I move to Calgary and become a Stampeders fan? You know the great weather. The first yeah, is that what it is? It's yeah. the nicest weather you could find. <laughs> why not leave LA to come to this? Can you tell me some of the differences between CFL rules and NFL rules? We're a three down game with a 20 second play clock. Interesting. Yeah, so our, and our receivers can go in motion all the time. It's not a one motion league, so you can have five guys running up the ball at the same time. That's fun. Another great thing about the CFL, no national anthem controversies. What do you find the differences between living in a place like California and living in a place like Canada. How open it is here. No traffic. You won't sit in traffic here. That's a very big bonus right there. The people here call it traffic. They're just really stoplights that go too long. They don't understand <laughs> what real traffic is. It's a little hidden secret to come to Calgary. We're not supposed to tell everybody, but. Oh, don't will. worry. Nope, we're not on TV or anything. Yeah. Here's my dumb touchdown yeah, let's dance. See this one. All right. Watch this catch. I do a little Antonio Brown one handed, <laughs> then I go. <laughs> As anyone can tell from looking at the city's skyline, business is booming in Calgary. But commerce is only one part of this city. I needed to find out about some cultural offerings. And that led me here, to the Motherload. So how would you describe this place? What's it all about? As Canadians, one of our biggest exports has been uh, music. Yeah. And I feel like this place really celebrates that. The first thing I want to show you, though, is the most famous sunglasses in Canada. These are Corey, Corey Hart sunglasses. Yes, we found a Corey Hart artifact. Don't switch the plan on the guy in shades no more. Don't ask away with the guy in shades, oh no. Do you want to play a quick game with us called Fake or Drake? Fake lyric or Drake lyric, here's how it works. All right, I'm ready. I'll give you a lyric. You tell me, Mr. Superfan, if this is a real lyric or a fake Drake lyric. F going online, that's not part of my day. I'm gonna say that is a real Drake lyric. That is correct, that's a real yes. Drake lyric. He's saying, you know, he doesn't wanna waste time online, mm -hmm. checking, you know, status updates and yeah. stuff like that. He's got a you know, albums He's got to places make. to be. You know? Yeah. Come on. Raptors sit me on the court and I'm so important. Double, double on girls like it was hot from Timmy Hortons. That seems a little bit too Canadian. Ooh. So I'm gonna say that that's probably fake. That is correct, it's yeah. fake. I wrote that. <laughs> hey. hey yeah, we're, hey, can uh -huh. you hear me? We're in Calgary. Mm -hmm. It's colder than yeah. I thought. It's like pouring rain out. Yeah, and I went yeah. on a, a bobsleigh today. They call it a bobsled yeah. in America, but it's a bobsleigh here. Uh, nope, never again. Okay, bye. Love you. Get out of my face, boy, let's go. Hmm, that's funny. Everyone I talked to today said the one thing they love about living here is being close to the mountains. We're so close to the mountains. Mountains. I love the mountains. We're just so close to the mountains. They're so beautiful out there. Maybe I should go to the mountains. Sometimes in Hollywood, things can feel like a bit of a hustle. 10 million Angelinos looking for clicks, shares, and followers. As Calgary's skyline gives way to rolling foothills, it starts to feel like none of those showbiz things really matter. 
soon, I started to feel very small. And I was okay with that. I was approaching the Canadian Rockies. This is real fame. I'm starting to understand why people travel from all over the world to come to Banff. Since I do most of my shopping in LA at thrift stores, I had to come in here and get me a Canadian tuxedo, baby. Denim on denim, son. It's so cold. Hey, buddy, I'm in Banff. What? Banff. Where? No, Banff. Bless you? No, 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 Banff. Banff? That sounds like a computer warning. Like, bam, <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Couple things I noticed about Canada is that nobody here has a side hustle. You rarely meet a guy who's driving Uber and owns an insurance agency. This place is absolutely magnificent. It's majestic, it's inspiring, and it's beautiful. Walking around here today, I was so inspired by the beauty that I decided to channel my inner John Denver and write a song about this very town. Thanks, man. It's a little song I wrote about this place. Hope you like it. Well, America's got them Rocky Mountains so high And them Grand Teton scraping the sky But in Canada we've got a place Where the angels come to dance And it's as beautiful as its name It's a town called Banff that's where I'm going to BAMP Where time moves slow It's BAMP Man, it's so freaking cold It's BAMP That's where I'm gonna go You know Thank you You know Well, America's got them Pacific Ocean blues I don't have a second verse yet I'm working on it I'm considering a move to Canada. Banff is awesome. It's like a little town, so you have the mountains, as you can see from every direction, but then you also have like a little city. So you actually live in Texas now? Yes. Could you ever live up here? Because Oh, think for sure, yes. You could, because yeah. I'm thinking of moving up here. <laughs> Didn't they change the type of money you guys have now? Did you say there was plastic money in Canada now? Yeah, it's great. You what can wash it. it? Carol, I'll show you one. You can wash your money it's in the mafia that's called laundering. I live in California. And, you know, it's just gotten a little hard to, to have the quality of life I want to have. And so far up here, it's been great. Why would you move up here? Weather, for sure. You like this? Everyone back home's on the beach, and we're in toques, so. Yeah. What's a toque exactly? This. Oh. <laughs> want, I, like, I'm wearing six layers. You just have on a shirt and a little, like, other overshirt. Yeah. How hard are your nipples right now? This is not paper money here. This would not fly in America. I'll trade you for an American 50 if you want. <laughs> I'd like to. Yep. How old are you? Uh, 16. We can't interview him. <laughs> Damn. I mean, it's nice, but I might be able to see a little more if we just cut down a couple of trees or something. Can we do that for the shot? So this is how the locals here like to have fun. This gondola goes up to 7,486 feet, but not with me on it. What about this gondola going up this hill here? Have you guys been up the gondola? No. I have, I have. You've been up the gondola? Two years ago, yeah. What's it like up there? It's, it's, I'm not allowed to swear, right? You can swear. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, good yeah. swearing, pretty awesome. <laughs> we'll beep that out, don't worry about it. <laughs> Now, I'm not really sure how many of these people in this town actually live here, so maybe this is just a place people visit. Either way, it's pretty incredible. So much so that the whole time I've been here, I haven't thought about my disappointing career choices once. Well, this sure beats the 405 freeway. Am I allowed to text and paddle? You get a paddling under the influence, a PUI. One thing I had heard about in Banff were these incredible hot springs. Well, we couldn't find the hot springs, but we did find this jacuzzi overlooking the mountains. Alberta, wild rose country. A kid could get used to a place like this. And there's so much Canada left to explore. Cheers, everybody.
That's snow coming down? Yeah. Oh! 